In this example, we will learn about the end behavior of polynomial functions. In part A, the equations and graphs of several even degree polynomials are shown. Study these graphs and generalize the end behavior of even degree polynomials. The top four graphs all represent quadratic functions, and the four lower graphs represent quartic functions. Compared to a quadratic function, a quartic function is flatter around the vertex. Quadratic functions do not have extra bumps. Quartic functions may have extra bumps, but their overall shape is still parabola-like. Even degree polynomials with a positive leading coefficient have a trend line that matches an upright parabola. The end behavior is that the graph starts in the upper left quadrant and ends in the upper right quadrant. Even degree polynomials with a negative leading coefficient have a trend line that matches an upside down parabola. The end behavior is that the graph starts in the lower left quadrant and ends in the lower right quadrant. Now we'll move on to part B. The equations and graphs of several odd degree polynomials are shown. Study these graphs and generalize the end behavior of odd degree polynomials. We have two linear functions, four cubic functions, and two quintic functions. Cubic functions have a flat region called the point of inflection. In a quintic function, the graph around the point of inflection is a little wider than it is in a cubic function. Cubic and quintic graphs may have extra bumps, but their graphs have the same end behavior as simple cubic and quintic graphs. Odd degree polynomials with a positive leading coefficient have a trend line matching the line y equals x. The end behavior is that the graph starts in the lower left quadrant and ends in the upper right quadrant. Odd degree polynomials with a negative leading coefficient have a trend line matching the line y equals negative x. The end behavior is that the graph starts in the upper left quadrant and ends in the lower right quadrant. 